everyone, welcome to Tune Design. This is uh, after I think uh, over a half a year my first tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. It's about uh, this trend filter and it's pretty easy to manage to design and um, I'm perfect for a beginner so you learn much about uh, the whole different segmentation types and yes, let's start. Our first step is to create the layer, so go to your scene and add one rectangle. Um, go to your properties, go to full width and height. Copy, copy it and paste it. Command V, Command C, and I think we need seven layers. So Command V. Yes, the first one is our background print layer, the second one is our person line, next person skin line, skin hair line, so this is the outline and, and hair. Go to camera and now you see these textures. We need the segmentation, person, hair and skin. Hair and skin. Do the same again. So person, hair and skin. So because we need uh, one for our um, front layer and one another for our outline, so this one is um, person line, hair, line and skin line. We need seven different materials. Just BG. And just copy this one. Select them all and make sure that the shader type is flat. And make sure that every single layer is uh, with the right material. This layer is really the last layer you will see to, and this one is the first one. So go to this hair layer and we go to alpha and put this hair segmentation. So this one right here or texture right here to make sure we see something and to see a result. I would recommend to add a color up here, but we need to make sure that we add this color later on um, to white again. So because we work with the patch editor later. So now we see this right here, just in case, make sure you see these properties from our assets here and uh, you see the mask size. So we don't need and soft edges none for example or 14 or 10 percent i think that is a perfect look and this properties you we use that for person segmentation as well so 10 percent 10 percent and one was enough enough i think and skin one and one but for the person line of course edge softness 10 as well but for this one let's try 3.0 okay now again like before we add the alpha to every single material 
only uh, the background will be left out. So in this case, hairline texture alpha is uh, hairline. And in this case, you add this. Um, maybe in this case, I think that it might be a bit too much. Two is also fine. Yep. Two and skin. Skin, just add another color so we see uh, the result immediately. Skin, make sure it's black. Okay, person, person, and for example, this person line. And background just any color but uh, leave it with this white for this we need our patch editor and the background only switch switch between two different layers the easiest way to make that possible without adding some textures to your design because when you when you add textures it blows a bit a little bit up uh, sorry when I when it uh, looks silly when I talk <laughs> so, hello um, I add an animation loop to your patch editor, add patch, then connect it with a transformation, trans, transition, with a transition. Make sure that the transition only have the color and add two colors to it, so bluish, blue, um, Okay, and kind of lavender, okay. Um, go to curve, add elastic. I think this looks pretty nice. Elastic out and in. And then go to your texture and add the texture to it. You want to speed it up a little. You're able to make that happen if you just um, add the duration a little bit uh, lower or higher but i think in this case one is fine the duration is really a very uh, important thing uh, for this filter it makes it a little bit more interesting the same technique you can use for example for the face because I think that they only use uh, two colors for the background and two colors for the person or for the skin tone. So again, um, just loop animation, transition, make sure you use color. In this case, we switch between green and yellow light yellow uh, elastic go to your skin material go to texture make sure you add this patch to it and connect them and now you see why it's so important to make sure that the color is now white and it's working the next step we work with uh, animation sequence uh, this animation sequence we don't need any patches just go to for example we start with our hair and go to texture and add a new animation sequence now see the animation sequence right here under your assets and just rename them hair sequence and make sure that you add or that you create some color palettes uh, in Photoshop or Canva or any other program. So go to choose file and I prepared some colors, for example, these colors right here. So this, 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 and this one and leave these two out. Now see this, 
edge by frames per second score for example so it's not too fast looks pretty nice so far and of course hair make sure the color here is as well white and the last step is it's like the same person segmentation color white go to new animation sequence person sequence choose file and say these five for example again in this cut wave let maybe five or maybe six so it's a little bit different the last step is our face go to face mesh insert your face mesh uh, create a new texture make sure that uh, this texture um, or um, this face mesh eyes and mouth are closed go to your material make sure of course you rename it to uh, face for example this as well oops double click on it flat depth perfect and texture I designed a texture like this I show you the PSD it's simply like uh, this grid and I put this line for example a little bit in the middle and a little bit um, deeper so I use the curve later from our face match so the depth of this match this simple dots for our eyes and for the mouth I only use this one simple lines the face is pretty neutral neutral and simple okay so add this one to my mesh and that's it pretty easy pretty simple last step is to add a plane for this um, for the glasses add plane plane to your face mesh like this is a little bit bigger so 2.5 2.5 we will see again later why 2.5 is, is maybe a little, little bit too much we will see later uh, anyway so add a new material make sure this is for example glasses I hope I spell it right if not sorry for that um, glasses and flat flat as well and I added simple texture to it again just show you the uh, Photoshop file it's simply like that so it's a simple design okay again use a depth show me this and that looks pretty nice so far the next step is we want to make sure that we have the right um, position for our glasses and we want to make sure that uh, we use an action to make this whole filter visible and in this case go to face this one right here, this uh, face tracker and add this face uh, via drag and drop make sure that you see the face tracker right down here and now we add to our face an interaction so go to for example to interaction and head nod then add a switch to it and I think a 
we only need to add these two and visibility of our glass and oh, sorry, sorry, glass and face. Glasses and face. And now when I know it, it's done. Last step is using our forehead, forehead for the right position. So if you don't agree with this position of your glasses, go to forehead, add an unpack on center. Uh, pack and in my case I add an add go to your glasses go to position add the position to it and sorry 0 0.7, 0 0.07. Okay, way too much up there. Well, it was minus 0 0.7. So you have more control if you want, if you need more control about the position of your uh, glasses, um, make sure you use this one right here. And uh, you see in this case, I add the switch on flip. So when I not, okay, doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> whatever, but it uh, switches back and forth <laughs> uh, to make sure that uh, you have the switch only to um, the to the filter once um, go to turn on so when you restart the filter and not it's not possible to make it back and forth so and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and i hope you enjoy of course the next tutorial um, up here and of course uh, please leave me a message um, if you have any new ideas for new tutorials and um, or maybe see a trend tutorial and want to know how it works and of course I would love to uh, know that you share this tutorial with others who wants to know or with Ding! someone who wants to know this and wants to learn more about Spark AR and yes uh, thank you very much again and see you next time enjoy the process bye bye